Hey guys, I'm Dutine here. Are you BB? I am freaking out, kind of. I'm just, I don't know, I think I'm in a good mood today or something, but it's just amazing. <laughs> you have no idea. Actually, some of you have an idea. Uh, I have uh, one of my tour guests and a, and a personal friend of mine named Jeremiah. He regularly says to me, you have no idea how lucky you are to live in Taiwan. He's an American, and he's a wealthy American. He drives like a... He, he has seven motorcycles, and he drives an Infiniti, and he built a racetrack on his property so he can, he can practice racing his motorcycles. And this guy, every, he, he comes to... He, he spends about two months per year in Taiwan. He pretty much spends all of his vacation time in Taiwan. So let's summarize again, because I like to repeat myself. He's a wealthy American who could fly to literally any country on the planet Earth and spend his vacation time there. But every single year, he comes back to Taiwan. And he's been everywhere else. He's, he's done Europe, he's done Japan, he's done, like, he's done Asia, he's done Europe, he's done Australia. And he just keeps coming back here. Uh, the reason why I wanted to reiter reiterate this is because of this road. I've never been on this road before. I've never done it in my life. And this road, I've only been riding for about 30 minutes away from my house, and I was kind of just looking around on Google Maps, and I clicked on this road, and then I went to my GPS, and I found it. And I'm just going from, like, point A to point B, and I do this trip about once a month or so. And today I decided to check on Google Maps to see if there was a different way I could do it. And sure enough, this road is in a valley, evidently. Like, you got hills here, and you have some kind of hilly mountains over there. And... It's nothing spectacular right now, but it was super, like, curvy, and it was, like, deserted, and there's very little on it, and except for, like, um, some touristy, like, farms. There's some kind of, like, insect world, which I think kids might like, so I'm, I'm going to save that and bring my son there sometime. But you can see there's, there's very little traffic. It's perfectly smooth pavement. The entire road is just as beautiful as this. And, it's up, and, and in that direction where I, I came from, it was super curvy. It was just... It's just amazing. I was literally like, what? what is this road? What is this giant road that has, like, no traffic? It's Friday night. It's rush hour. This is rush hour on a Friday night. <laughs> like, this road, it's just, it's just amazing. And, this, and Taiwan is the second most densely populated country on the planet Earth. So this is Friday night rush hour on the second most densely populated country on the planet. <laughs> that lady gave me a dirty look. Yeah, it's just, it's just, uh, it's just awesome. And it's crazy because I've never, I didn't even realize this road was 30 minutes away from my house. So I've saved it on my GPS. I'll, I'll come and do it more often. Like, uh, what, what I, what I normally do when I'm, when I'm heading to the next province south of mine is I either hug the mountains or I take the coast along the ocean. And this is somewhere in the middle of the two. It's, it's closer to the ocean than the mountains, but it's, but it's, it's, this, hilly it's this hilly valley road. And it's, yeah, it's interesting. I, cars and bikes keep slowing down when they see me. They think I'm a cop or something. They're like, who's this guy with the camera? And then they slow down. Anyways, I just wanted to reiterate how lucky I am to live here. Nah. For, in, in some ways. Did you have anything you want to add? <laughs>